Are you ready for an open discussion with the best of the best and the best of what's next? Welcome to the Tony D'Urso Show. Join in on a great conversation today with some of the world's great influencers as they showcase great advice and techniques that made them the game changers they are today. Now, here's Tony D'Urso. Welcome, I'm your host, Tony D'Urso. I want to thank you so much for being with us today as we take a deep dive into a fun topic, the topic of taking time off. Now, now stick with me, and even if there's a bit of stress in your life, such as financial, let's play this game and dream this dream with me. Now, way back when in corporate America, there was a time I couldn't think of taking time off. Vacations were actually a bad word back then. Vacations were an impossibility. It just wasn't real, not at all. And my record for working nonstop without sleep is four nights. I've done many, too many days of missing two nights and three nights of sleep. You know, sometimes you get in a position that you have to keep working or you're demanded to and you never catch up. And going on vacation becomes a bad word. And as a result, it never materializes. And I'm saying that if you don't dream it, how does it ever have a chance to materialize? Now, today, as I run my own show, I choose when I want to take time off, even if it doesn't look feasible. It starts with a dream. And 100% of the time, when I decide to take some time off with the family, it always comes through, no matter what madness the world throws at you. Remember that. You know, it's like being distracted by the magician. If you can dream it, you can do it. And coincidentally, that goes right in line with my vision map that I make available to everyone on my books page. This is all about turning your vision into reality. I think you're going to love this topic. And please share this with friends that you believe would be helped by this. All right. You know this. It's all about friends helping friends. And we need that more than ever today, don't we? So let's check this out in Dream. Meet Christopher Klesch. He spent 31 years marketing with AT&T. And somewhere along the line, he became a master of traveling on pennies. And you know what? I'm going to let him tell you all about this. Let's find out more. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the Tony D'Urso Show. It's so great to have you with us today. Well, Tony, it's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor and privilege to be with you. I've become a big fan of your show, your audience. And I hope to empower them to the inside secrets, to safe, luxury travel for just pennies on a dollar. And that's that's what it's all about. You mentioned something about dreams. We try to turn those dreams into memories. Let me ask a quick question to your audience. I think we'll all agree that the best things in life aren't things. What are they? Your health, your family, your friends, hopefully your faith, and those precious memories and experiences. Chris, we're going to go into that. And I, I kind of want us to understand your backstory on why and how you became that expert. And I want to hear that. This is really important. We're entrepreneurs. We're small business owners. We're looking forward to learning about your inside in, insider travel hacks. And I've got a lot of questions about this. And as I mentioned sure. in the little preamble, why a vacation? But let's just, before we get into this, could we fill in your backstory, please? How did it all start for you? Yeah, I, I'd love to. I was very fortunate at an early age to have a family that took me on vacations at 12 years old. I spent six weeks in Europe. I was an athlete. I consider myself a culture jock. Uh, I could conduct a symphony orchestra, conduct Broadway shows. I graduated from Indiana University, School of Music, Radio and TV, and I started working in New York in marketing with the phone company. And I love culture, and I love to travel, so I try to put it all together. So I put in my corporate world with the Bell system. At that time, it was New York Telephone. Transferred to Florida. By the way, they paid for my MBA, which is in finance and in marketing. And then I became a, a veteran because of the Vietnam War. I volunteered for the Army. I was in the Army Reserve. And then I transferred to the National Guard. And with my musical background, I was a conductor of the, one of the military bands. And I enjoyed my corporate career. And then at 52 years old, 
I was offered a package to leave with a year's pay, middle management, here's your 401k, here's your pension, here's a year's pay, and I'm on my own, and I've always loved travel, and I like to go first class, so I decided I have a bucket list, I'm going to go do it. So that, that's what I started doing. I got into travel, and I had always been a background as a speaker. That's what I did for the Bell System. I was always the guy in a suit and tie, giving the PowerPoint, the presentation, selling the value of AT&T and Bell services as opposed to the competition. So I had that speaking background. It came natural. My first speaking opportunities, I actually was asked to speak to MBA students, as I mentioned to you before, and the... Uh, qualities needed to be successful in corporate executive status working in the corporate world as opposed to being an entrepreneur, which I became. And I, I feel that the best things in life aren't the material things, like I said, your health, your family, your friends, and those memories and experiences. And a lot of that involves travel and leisure, especially now. It's relevant. We've been cooped up, let's face it, for two years. Weddings have been canceled. Vacations have been canceled. Reunions have been canceled. There were times you couldn't even have a family gathering at Thanksgiving, and we're in that transition period. But hopefully now, with the vaccinations and the therapeutics, people are starting to travel again. It's called revenge travel. They're able to travel. They're thinking about it. But what's the problem? The big problem is I've interviewed hundreds of people, thousands of people across the country. I've interviewed concierges, tourists. I'm involved in a tourist industry. I vacationed myself before COVID probably half the year. I based myself out of the Palm Beach Gardens area in Florida. I love Broadway, so I usually see 20 Broadway shows. I'm a ski bum. I ski, was, was skiing 80 to 100 days a year at various top ski resorts. I've been all over Hawaii, Europe, et cetera, around the world twice. And the big problem is people can't afford it. Heck, this country, as you know, is uh, we're all entrepreneurs. What are we, 30 trillion in debt? And with the Build Back Better plan or Build Back Bankrupt plan, we'll probably be uh, 35 trillion in debt. Heck, we even had Joe Biden now forced to fly coach on Air Force One. Kamala Harris, Dr. Jill Biden, they're, they're paying for check bags. Hey, Warren Buffett, uh, Jeff Bezos, they're advertising for roommates on Craigslist. And you're neck of the woods out there in California. Pimps driving Kias, mafia families dining at the Olive Garden. Women only getting one boob done. Heck, again, my kid's school lunch program is at a macaroni and cheese, it's macaroni or cheese. Look at Fox News. They had to hire a real blonde to save on bleach. So with inflation, today's current environment, a lot of people are still struggling to pay for those vacations, those get-togethers, and their weddings. So I, as a speaker, I try to come up with a solution. I try to share with your audience, their entrepreneurs, their families, whether it's business or pleasure, that you don't have to be rich to live rich. After all, travel's a big part of it because we travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us. So what I try to do is what I've done is my mission is to help families, the middle class, the, the real wealthy really don't need me. Like, you know, I say, but show the middle class how they can still live this luxury lifestyle. I call it the lifestyle of privilege. When it comes to travel and leisure for pennies on a dollar, that's whether you want to go to take your kids and grandkids to Disney World, want to ski like me in the, the winter at the top ski resorts, whether you want to play golf on the best golf courses, you want to go to museums, Broadway, Las Vegas shows, national parks, the whole gamut of travel and leisure. And for entrepreneurs, it's the health aspects of travel. Again, it's corporate wellness. There's a whole vision out there corporate wellness, reduce stress, reduce burnout. There's so much stress out there in the work environment. There's a st st statistics that says U.S. workers, the worker bees, whether they're corporate or entrepreneurs, they don't even take two weeks of vacation. Whereas, as you know, Tony, in Europe, it's encouraged to take those four to six weeks of vacation. 
and there's less stress out there. It's better for relationships, their education. So that's what I'm all about. I'm at, out there to empower the public, entrepreneurs, corporate people, families, etc. cetera, that value of travel, but overcome the disadvantages. Again, how do you pay for it? So I'm here, like you said, trying to show them the insider, the insider now, the loopholes, the travel tricks that I've utilized over the years that I've empowered my audiences all over through my speaking engagements, how to do it affordably without breaking the bank. That's what I'm all about. That's what what's Lifetime Leisure is all about. We're there. It's right on my business card to service your dreams and to bring families together so their memories can last forever. We're talking with Christopher Klesch about insider travel hacks, and you can find him at lifetimeleisure.net. Chris, let's get into your vision path. I get this, that you've become such an expert on traveling on pennies, but also you're an MBA, you're very educated, you know a lot about a lot of things. What made you go into helping people travel as opposed to a myriad of other things that you could do based on your, your knowledge and the expertise that you have? It was an excellent question. When I, when I left the corporate world, I've always loved to travel. It's been in my blood. I was a travel junkie. I immersed myself in every blog, interviews with people, places I had been before, and then when I had the time after the work, it's more flexible, it was easy to travel. My family liked to travel. It just was in my blood. I had done it from such an early age. I knew all the benefits, all the joy it had brought me, the educational aspects of it. And again, I talk about health. The best things in life aren't the material things, they're your health. And that's mental and physical health. I've always been an athlete, worked out, played every sport there is. And I've learned it's not the years in your life, but the life in those years that matter. I've had three near-death experiences. When I played football, a little story, I uh, had a lot of concussions. 25 years later, after my football career ended, I started developing serious seizures. And because of the seizures, I had three near-death accidents. One, I almost drowned in Lake Tahoe, where I had a second home. One, I was speaking to my PR firm. And I, I in, uh, on the phone, I was in Florida. I had a seizure. I fell down on my tile floor. And luckily, the, my PR agent called 911, and I was rushed to a hospital. I later found out I had bled out almost two quarts of blood, so I was saved. Another occurrence, I unfortunately crossed the median and crashed into a truck, was airlifted to the hospital. So I think I've learned the value of life. It's not the years in your life, but the life in those years that matter. And that travel is a big part of that. Travel and leisure, family orientation, meeting new people, new cultures. Everybody has a bucket list when people retire, when they're in my age group, I'm 73, they have a bucket list. Their studies have been done where they've interviewed successful entrepreneurs, hospice people, patients, and that were very successful in life. And, they, and the studies say it's not what they did, uh, that they were concerned about. It's the things they didn't do that they regretted. Those bucket list trips, those family occasions that they wish they had taken. So I think travel is so important. And now with my tips, or you call them insider ninja, I call them ninja secrets, travel hacks. It's a whole science to travel hacking. Miles, I'm sure your entrepreneur audience knows all about miles and airlines. I'll get a little bit more detail into it. But there's a lot of loopholes that they don't know about that I'd be glad to share with your audience. Coach Chris, we hear this all the time. We hear, you know, avoid burnout and take breaks. We hear it. it, it I think it goes over some of our heads. After the past two years of what I call madness, I shudder to think how many people can even think about taking some time off. Too many people I've run into, they're just, they're very concerned with just surviving and getting by in their daily lives. Getting time off, taking a vacation is, is un, not just unnatural. It's just like way out of their scope. And I kind of want to bring it into people's scope because when you think about it, when you dream, when you realize, well, maybe I can do that, it actually starts you on the road to materializing it. 
And if you've got any hacks or advice on that, because we want to kind of pull people out of this a little bit and taking that time off really is very key and important to that. You're exactly right. You hit the nail on the head. It used to be, you know, with this COVID situation, work from home. But when you delve a little further into it, the way I've done in my study and my research, it's really work from anywhere. And I take as an example my son. He's a 29-year-old CPA auditor for Price Waterhouse. He put him through Auburn's graduate school, et cetera. And he got tired of looking at the four walls. He couldn't go into the office. So I said, Hey, I'll fix you up here, oceanfront unit. Again, pennies on a dollar. I'm down here in the Palm Beach area. And uh, come down here. You'll wear your headset. You got your two computers. You'll do your work. You don't even have to take vacation time, yet you'll have the advantage of working from a beautiful resort, ocean view. He got up in the morning. He took a walk before he started work, saw sunrise, a whole different environment. It made him a different person. He told me he was more productive, et cetera. But getting into the travel hacks, the two biggest expenses people have or families have, individuals, when it comes to traveling, 80% of their budgets are airfares and accommodations. Those are the two biggest aspects of travel. So we want to get into that to show people you don't have to be rich to live rich. Let's talk about airfares, number one. I'm sure a lot of your audience is a member of a frequent flyer, airline, they fly to destinations. And Coach Chris here has not paid the fly in the last 18 years. And I'm not married to a flight attendant. I'm not married to a pilot. It's all through travel hacking. Every airline is associated with a bank, has its associated credit card. You look at Delta, it's associated with American Express. They have a credit card, a gold credit card. They run different promotions. And the idea is to pick the airline that you want to fly, get their credit card, get the sign-up bonus. With Delta, for instance, to give you an idea, you spend $2,000 and you get 70,000 Delta Sky Miles. Now, you, you do it for yourself. You do it if you're married, with your spouse. And as entrepreneurs, we get a business credit card. So just with that one airline, you could accumulate uh, over 200,000 airline miles. That'll get you practically around the world, first class, all for just spending $2,000. Southwest, I work with clients, Southwest Airlines. I fly free on Southwest with a companion. Again, they have their own bank credit cards there with Chase Bank, and you, you sign up for their initial bonuses. On their credit cards, you accumulate the equivalent of 130,000, they call them rapid reward points or loyalty points, and you wind up flying for free, and a companion flies for free for one or two years. That's with Southwest. Same thing with United Airlines. Now, American Airlines, I utilize all the time. I'm a ski bum, I have a second home in Lake Tahoe area, so I'm, I'm on the American Airlines VIP list, they have a credit card where to sign up bonus, you don't have to spend anything. You could buy a pack of gum, a cup of coffee. You need a credit score of 700, get approved for the card, and you're going to get 60,000 American airline miles. 60,000. That'll get you two domestic round trip tickets, trip to Hawaii, trip to Europe. Again, you leverage that with your business. You get a business card. And you're like me, you have two businesses, you get two businesses cards, your spouse gets one, and you wind up flying on the airline of your choice for free. And whether you're in California, if you take the, the low-cost airlines frontier, if you're going to Hawaii, Aloha Airlines has their own credit card with a sign-up bonus, uh, Hawaiian Airlines. If you're like me, I'm in the East Coast, I fly JetBlue nonstop to New York or Delta and I don't pay to fly. It's all using travel hacking, sign up for these credit card sign up bonuses. And after you get the credit card, obviously, everybody knows you never pay interest, you pay it off. And most of these credit cards, whether it be Delta, American, Southwest, JetBlue, after you have their bank sponsored credit cards, you also don't pay for luggage check-in. So if you're flying with a family of four, you're not paying for a luggage check-in. 
an American, and also you're going to get priority boarding. So instead of waiting at the first class board to board at the end where you have fight for that overhead luggage space, you're going to board right after first class and business class so you never have to worry about overhead compartments. So every individual, whether you're an individual, a family, a couple, whether it's a girlfriend's trips, going golfing, etc., you learn to fly for free. It's all possible with a family and it can be done. I say start out with the destination you want, figure out what airline goes there, get their uh, assigned credit card, get the sign up bonus. And then, by the way, any dollars you spend on that credit card, you get additional miles. And this is how you fly for free and leverage that with your business. Get the business card as well as the personal account get your grown children to get the credit card. And that's how families could fly free like I do without paying a dime. There's just a little tax fee. Some of the airlines, like for instance, I fly from West Palm Beach. I stop in Dallas and I go right to Vail. I think the tax was $11. Whereas the normal airfare is approximately $800 for that trip. So, uh, and the other thing is book in advance. The other trip, utilizing once you get these frequent flyer miles is get on the website, know the game, try to book in advance, uh, look at options. Maybe you don't have to fly on weekends. You could take midweek flights instead of paying maybe 60,000 for a domestic trip, you could get it for 25,000. So you just be cognizant of the rules utilizing frequent flyer miles. And that's a big aspect of travel savings, especially if you have a family. So your family flies free to their destination of their choice. They're not paying for luggage check-in, reduces stress. And we all want to save money, whether we're a millionaire or we're just starting out and we're taking that, just be able to afford that once a year family vacation, we're looking for that savings. So that would be tip number one. Chris, I wish uh, we were friends way back when. I would have saved a lot of money. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on which way you look at it, I have traveled the world, but I did it the old-fashioned way (laughs) with a lot of money. (laughs) But those are amazing tips. That is absolutely amazing. And uh, uh, Now I'm wondering, okay, so we've got airlines really well understood or better understood. What about accommodations? Hotels cost a lot of money. Oh, yeah, you got to stay someplace. And uh, again, I'm, I'm talking about luxury travel now. I'm not a Motel 6 guy. I'm spoiled. I admit it. I like the suites, the views, et cetera. I'm, uh, you know, I'm your middle class guy, but I've been spoiled for the last 18 years and I've immersed myself. It's become a drug. You know, you just drug me. It's a game. How could you do it first class for pennies on a dollars? Well, here's another major tip. Call this unique tip people aren't thinking about, especially in today's environment when you're thinking about resorts, hotels. I say, if you're going for that typical family vacation for a week, forget the word hotel. Repeat after Coach Chris, forget the word hotel. Why? Because Marriott, Hilton, Hyatt, Weston, Disney, Starwood, Wyndham, even the Ritz-Carlton. We all know them as hotel chains, resorts. They all have resorts, hotel chains, but they also have a timeshare product, or they don't use the term timeshare anymore, vacation club. They call them vacation clubs. Timeshares had a bad connotation because of the sales practices, et cetera. But you don't even have to own the timeshare. You can get on an internet site, and here's a resource for your audience if they don't know, call it one of Coach Chris's tips, redweek.com. And instead of thinking about booking a hotel room for a week, and again, these these timeshares or vacation clubs come in different sizes. You could get them in studios, one bedrooms that sleep four or six, two bedroom units sleep six or eight, even three bedroom units up to 12. And instead of renting a hotel room, go on the website and stay in one of these resorts and rent from an owner, at least starting out. If you don't own a timeshare now, I own a lot of them, but I'm saying when you're starting out, rent from an owner. And I'll use myself as an example and a lot of my clients. I'm a ski bum, as I mentioned. In ski season, a Vail hotel room, the Marriott goes for 700 
hundred a night. Nice hotel room. Oh, and by the way, another fifty bucks to park your car and add tax on that. So you're looking at eight hundred dollars a night. Nice hotel room. Vail's an expensive ski resort, luxury now. But you can get on the internet and a half mile down the road from the Vail Hotel, the Vail Marriott is called Marriott Streamside Resort. It's managed by the Marriott, the timeshare or call, it's called Marriott Vacation Club and rent from an owner and get a one or two bedroom unit. And these, let's say a two bedroom unit now, sleep safe, you're gonna get a fireplace, a full kitchen, a washer dryer, free Wi-Fi, underground parking, a clubhouse with an indoor outdoor pool, fitness center, uh, indoor whirlpool, sauna, steam room. In some of these units, you get free firewood. When I stay in Vail, I love to make fires. I take the damn luggage cart down to the garage and I fill it up with firewood. They're charging a dollar a log across the street at Safeway and I'm filling up getting $100 worth of free firewood. In the translation, all you're gonna pay is an average of maybe two or 300 a night. So the translation, if you use this alternative, as opposed to staying in a hotel or a normal resort, you're going to get triple the space now. Sleeps eight, 1,400 square feet, triple the amenities of a hotel because you're going to get a full kitchen, washer, dryer, balcony, free transportation, free Wi-Fi, no tax, etc. Triple the amenities for a third the price of a hotel room. And you could use this scenario, whether you, like me, you're going to Vail, whether you're going to Maui, whether you're go, going to Disney World, et cetera. And saying, instead of saying at a Disney hotel at four or 500 a night, rent one of their timeshares from an owner, people that aren't, aren't occupying the unit, they just want to make back the maintenance. And again, get double to triple the space, accommodate your whole family, the size of the unit, two, four, six, eight, 12 people, and then get those resort amenities. In fact, I'm staying across the street from where the studio is. I live at a golf resort community, but I vacation 10 miles away at a, a Marriott resort called Marriott Ocean Point. We got three swimming pools, hot tubs, miniature golf, tennis, water aerobics, every activity. And I'm staying there for less than Motel 6 prices. I'm staying in a 800, $700 or $800 unit and my cost of goods, when I figure in my maintenance charges of owning timeshares and all the tricks, I'm paying less than Motel 6 prices. Heck, to give you another example, I'm going to New York next week. And again, I know, again, that's what I'm all about, helping people know the loopholes. I'm staying in a suite for three nights in the Hilton Hotel. And this is with free breakfast, free happy hour, a suite now. Three nights, I have to spend an hour with Hilton on their sales tour, which is BS. Another thing to tell your people, never, ever, ever buy a timeshare retail from the developer. They're the greatest thing in the world, only buy resale. But for spending an hour with Hilton, I'm getting three or $4,000 worth of accommodations and it only costs me $300. Then I'm transferring to the Marriott Marquis Hotel. I've been upgraded to a suite. Normally goes for 1500. My son's coming up, the accountant I told you, and he lives in Birmingham, Alabama. This is Christmas week. This is not an off week. This is Christmas week in New York. I'm in a $1,500 suite times for three nights. Again, that's uh, $5,000 worth of accommodations. Again, access because of my status to the concierge lounge where I'm not paying for breakfast. I'm not paying for happy hour or the old the hors d'oeuvres, et cetera, overlooking Times Square in the busiest week of the year. And my cost of goods on this, because I'm going on a preview tour. Again, I have to sit there and listen to the salesman. Of course, I'm not going to buy anything because I know more. I know all the inside ninja tricks, you know, but I listen, I'm polite. And that, that expense was $300. So I'm getting $5,000 worth of accommodations costing me $300. This is all possible. So again, just to sum up, when people travel, especially their family or a couple, think rent a timeshare. There's thousands of them all over the world. 
redweek.com. Another resource is Timeshare Users Group, tug.org. Look it up, Google it, and rent a timeshare from an owner. Try it. Or obviously, I'm going to give your audience some advice. Take one of those preview tours. See what it's all about. See if it's the type of thing you think you'd enjoy with family. These are all luxury accommodations. I go to Hilton Head. I play golf for free. I take my golfing buddies there. Sleep safe. We get $10,000 worth of golf. Top courses. No green fees. No cart fees. Sleep safe. Right across the street from Harbor Town, where they play if you're a golfer the week after the Masters. And again, renting a timeshare. You don't even have to own. Cost you less than $2,000. Translation. You're going to get accommodations. You're going to get $15,000 worth of accommodations rented for $2,000. No tax, free Wi-Fi. You don't have to worry about going out to dinner every night. And that's another issue, safety. In this environment where we're in transition, safety. Everybody's concerned about restaurants and crowds. When you stay in these timeshares or vacation clubs, you don't have to go out for every meal. You got the you know, a full kitchen, service for eight or 12, you cook the meals there. And so it's a safety concern. And this transition environment, forget Airbnb. You don't know whose house you're going to stay in, cleanliness standards, all the hotel chains, Marriott, the Hiltons, the Hyatts, the Westons, the Disneys, they all put on their websites their sanitization standards, what they're doing to clean the rooms, their social distancing. Uh, Etc. So you can be assured that that room is going to be clean. When I just checked in across the street at the Marriott Resort, even a TV remote control is in a like a Ziploc. Everything's sanitized. When you finish with your pool lounge chairs. Somebody's spraying it down. So in this call it a transition period when people are vacationing, I say stick to the major hotel chains. Take a look as an alternative. Forget the hotels and look at their vacation clubs timeshares. And just about any resort area in the United States, you can do it. Those are very interesting tips and I really appreciate that. And I hope that that helps a lot of the audience members kind of start dreaming about going on vacation and saving because you can do it, save so much that you can actually go and have that vacation. And you mentioned about health, you mentioned about sanitizing and being safe. And I know you have some life-saving tips that every traveler needs to know. Yeah, well, again, well, a lot of it is we're in a transition period now with these, uh, you know, with COVID, with COVID, obviously the variants of uh, Omicron and the Delta variant, people are still concerned about safety. And you have to check before you go to a resort area what the restrictions are what is open, what is not open. Like in New York now, you need a vaccination card. I'll be going there next week, two or three Broadway shows. Everybody has to be masked. To get into the restaurants, you need a current vaccination card. European travelers coming over here, they need a COVID test. Whether you're a tourist or a citizen, you have to be tested before you get here. So check with the destination where you're traveling to, what the restrictions are, you follow the news, CDC, they change daily with all these restrictions. So be cognizant, be aware, keep yourself, look at their websites, find out in advance what restrictions they have, what's open, what's not open, is there quarantine involved? People from your area used to go to Hawaii a lot and they were making tourists quarantine, quarantine for 14 days. So people didn't know that they get there, they had to stay in their hotel room, they wasted their money etc. So keep keep yourself these rules change every day. Pick a destination, know what the rules are. And I would stay at this time, stay with the big hotel chains. There's a lot of quote timeshares out there, but at this point in time, because of sanitization, for safety reasons, social distancing, they know the standards. Stick with the major brands where their policies are all over their websites, what they're doing to keep everybody safe and the room's clean. And uh, that that's the way to go about it in this transition period. 
I appreciate that very much. And before we end off this interview, I'd be remiss if I didn't pick your brain just a little bit. You have a long-term marketing career. We're entrepreneurs, small business owners. We'd love to learn any marketing hacks or anything else you may have or come to come to mind in terms of helping us with our business, growing our business, so that we can take that vacation. Sure. I, I think it's important. As entrepreneurs, it's important you encourage. Your study has been done. I won't bore you with the details. How people, your employees, as entrepreneurs, successful small business owners, you encourage your employees to take their vacations. You encourage them. And that when they come back, they're going to be refreshed. Their studies, they'll be more productive, et cetera. And a lot of times, like I said, if they're working from home, let them work. Let them travel to their families. They could still work on their PCs, their computers, wear their headsets, do the internet bits, Zoom calls, et cetera, and be in an environment that uh, may, might make their life you know, more productive. And so think instead of work from home, work from anywhere. We're all into this technological uh, transition now. We don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of years. But the idea is it doesn't have to be costly. With some of these tips, I think people can save that money. Again, I'm going to repeat myself, but, you know, I'm the perfect example. And if they want me to help them, for your audience, it would be my privilege and pleasure. I'd be glad to give them a free, free consultation. Tell me what their dreams are. Dream for a moment. Remember for a lifetime, like you said, how I could help them have those dreams come true, bring their family together. Some memories last forever. Go to uh, my automated calendar, coachchrisspeaks.com, uh, coach, spell it out, chrisspeaks.com, book a call with me. I'm going to even give you out my personal cell number. You've been so nice to me, giving me this opportunity. I love to help people. That's my mission. Like I said, to service their dreams, bring their families together, especially in these troubled times so their memories can last forever. Pick up the phone. Feel free to call me. Mention this show. You heard me on your show, Tony. And my number again, personal number. I give them permission. Call me personally at 561-386-2986. I'll be able to give them, guide them right, give them exposure. Because everybody's travel dreams and aspirations are a little different. They have to be customized. I'll talk about them. I'm a professional speaker maybe for their event, their convention, association, where they think I might be a benefit to their particular audience, talking about work-life balance, travel hacks, et cetera. We can discuss that because that's what I love to do, is speak from the stage. You've learned so much about travel. It's absolutely astounding. And I can't wait to go check into some of those travel hacks, especially the accommodations. I really like some of that information. And it makes such sense that, even the rates would be lower and the owners of the timeshares as well as perhaps the hotel deals would be far greater and better than we would think if we would just push and look into it a little bit more. We can have that dream vacation for our family. And of course, as entrepreneurs, we can work from anywhere in the world, can't we? Yeah, well, that's the beautiful. As entrepreneur, that's the one reason we're an entrepreneur. And that the fact that we could still do our job and still communicate with the tech technology of Zoom and wearing headsets and meetings like this and still do our job and, and be with our families, be at different places. You're out in LA. Hey, if you like to play golf, I mean, you could be conducting this interview from Pebble Beach or Cypress Point, wherever it might be. So uh, uh, again, the idea is, is the travel in the new normal is not just working from home, it's working from anywhere, but the importance of travel and leisure to one's life for their health, wellness, reducing stress, burnout, relationships, et cetera. And not everybody has a, you know, in the upper 1%, I'm certainly not, but I've learned how to live like the upper 1% just doing the research. And it would be my privilege and pleasure to help your audience take this to the next step. We really appreciate that, Chris. I thank you so much for sharing everything sharing about the all this travel hacks all these insider tricks if you want to say tricks or advice or tips really very very appreciated and i really do like the airline ones and i hope that once things sort out a little bit more because as you mentioned the rules change here and there so please check out very carefully where you're going to go 
dream that dream, but check out their rules and kind of plan that out. And you kind of have to watch it because the rules can change kind of suddenly or fast or within weeks. So you, even though you're going to plan that long-term vacation for me, for me, for example, I'd go to France. I love France. I love touring all France. So you kind of have to gauge it just right and where you're going to go, what you're going to do and see what the rules are of the hotels and kind of just time it. But if you do it right, you're an entrepreneur. You've made things go right before you have figured it out. If you do it right, you can have a great time. And even if you're working while you're on the trip, which I do when I'm on, I go on the trip, I can work from anywhere in the world. The rest of the family they're enjoying all the benefits. They're enjoying that. For them, it's the best vacation in the world. Yeah, it, for them, it's absolutely fantastic. For you, you're working, but you're also enjoying the accommodations, enjoying the new environment. And it just feels so good when you go out. And I know some of us may be having a little bit of a tough time or have gone beyond that, but we're tough. We're resilient. We're entrepreneurs and we can solve these issues. That's That's why we're doing what we're doing. So Dream that dream. And I just want to say, Chris, I coach Chris. He's a coach. Right. As you can tell from his outfit here. <laughs> yeah, I'm known as a travel coach. We we coach the deal. Uh, that's what I'm all about. And then the other thing I'd add, it is a complicated subject. It's not as easy. I think everybody, I believe in mentors. As a professional speaker, I'm in a mastermind group. I think everybody needs a coach of some type. And if they need a travel coach, I'm your person. I consider myself the number one travel guru. We got to seek as entrepreneurs advice and guidance from experts. I know I seek advice and guidance for social media experts in my speaking career, et cetera, marketing. Uh, so our mutual friend, Chris Salem, he's acting as my agent. And as entrepreneurs, we got to reach out and have that mentorship and coaching to help us facilitate what we're trying to accomplish, our mission for our clients. Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate that. Once again, we talked about insider travel hacks with Christopher Klesch. He gave you his cell number, play this back and get it. And his site is lifetimeleisure.net. By the way, Chris, is your number on your cell phone number on at lifetimeleisure.net? I don't know. I haven't looked at my email. Also my email, lifetimeleisure at bellsouth.net. So if they wanted to email. And one last tip, if some people are in the books, ebooks, I have a ebook out, 99 travel tips without skimping. Again, just communicate with me and I'll make sure I get you that uh, 99 travel tip uh, ebook out to your listeners. Well, there you go. All right, everyone. Let's go on vacation. All right. Dream for a moment. Remember for a lifetime. Chris, thank you so much for sharing with us today. Very appreciated. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me while I featured an elite entrepreneur who took his vision to reality. This was such a good interview. It's about something we should do more often, right? Insider travel hacks. We talked about a lot of things and in no particular order, we talked about avoiding burnout, taking breaks and really dreaming that dream because it all starts with that dream. If you don't dream that you could take that break, take that time off, it doesn't happen by itself. You got to want it. There's a little secret for you. We talked about uncommon ways to save substantially when we travel. We talked about, well, we, we had some life-saving tips there that every traveler needs to know. It was, they were there. There were some good tips there. I like that on staying at hotels because they really have their, the standards much, much higher than perhaps another place that you may rent. Not always, but it can be there. And I think that that's got good merit and is very important for us when we travel. We talked about how to fly for free. What a concept. Did you know that before we had this interview? I didn't even realize that. You can fly for free. Great hacks on that. And we learned how to live it up for pennies on the dollar at top resorts and so much more. I want to thank you for spending some time with us. You know, this is all about helping you move on your journey to success. So thanks. And remember, just take action. Success awaits those who persevere and remain steadfast despite the odds. Sow good seeds, do good deeds, and join me on the next episode of The Tony D'Urso Show. Oh, 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 oh,
We hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of the Tony D'Urso Show with his key influencers. Be sure to tune in again next Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Influencers Channel.